Very good. Namaste, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, welcome to uh, this uh, evening's uh, silent guided meditation. This session will last uh, approximately, let's say, let's aim for like uh, uh, 20 minutes or so for now. Now, this won't be strict because uh, we will just see how it unfolds. It could be a little bit shorter, it could be a little bit longer. Uh, find a place where you're comfortable. And so it really is a, an amazing opportunity to experience what it's like to be totally um, at peace, not just quiet in the physical sense, but uh, deeper than this, to experience one's natural state, whereby the mind is in deep harmony with heart energy. I know these words may sound a little bit unusual for some of you who have never done this before, but I will keep my guidance in a very simple way, and you will find uh, very little difficulty in following my guidance. Thank you. Already, you see, something in you is already responding to the opportunity and the occasion that we are presented with here. I am simply asking that you unplug, as it were. You will find this is not difficult, uh, meaning, if I were to ask you just to leave all your thoughts concerning your where you're coming from, what is going to happen here, all the thoughts about yourself and uh, all of this just as much as you're able to just leave it outside for a moment so that you come here and you enter the room um, a little empty. Thank you for finding that. That place in you which is uh, silent and where you are not here in the next twenty minutes or so, I will not engage you with any activity whereby you use, need to use your mind. And so you can simply just relax, but don't fall asleep. Good? OK. Now, all that you need to be open to right now is just the sound of my voice. I am just going to guide you here and there. It is not an hypnosis session, so you need not worry. You are simply to listen. I am only guiding you, your attention, back to your natural place of stillness. As you are sitting here, you are naturally aware of, now that we have closed the doors, the sound from outside has lessened. Your senses are still functioning. I am not going to ask you to control them. Let them operate under their own natural ways and laws. That is fine. No disturbance to that. Deeper than this is that your mind and attention is naturally coming to relax. Not so jumpy, but settling down in an inner 
the silence and stillness. Very good. For most of you, your eyes are closed. There is a natural response to the call to be more internal or inward with your attention. We say the eyes are like the windows to the world. Now you have closed the shutters, and you see that there is an inwardness. You are aware of the sounds that are coming in through your ears, the sense of tranquility in the room. If there is any sense of any kind of inner thing going on, movement of the mind, memory, some images, anything like that coming, don't fight with them. Be aware of them, but keep into your silence. This is not difficult, as you can see. Uh, from time to time, a movement from the mind may come, and you will feel like somehow a tendency to drift into thought. But right now, you can easily avoid that. It is not going anywhere. It is only a habit that will tend to bring your attention into some noisy state. So ignore that for now, and remain in your natural silence. Very good. Notice that there is no real effort of such to simply be. The only thing that can bring disturbance at all is some feelings or thoughts arising in you. And by itself, that is not a problem. When we give too much importance to them, or you begin to drift off with them, they bring you into a state of more agitation or noise. So this, choose not to engage with them. Simply this. This exercise, it will be good to uh, do. Again, you come, sit quietly somewhere. It is if you could see that all the functions of the mind were like switches that you just automatically, by closing your eyes, all the switches are turned off. And the activity of thinking and projecting and imagining all of that lights out on them. So now you are in a very quiet, very empty, silent space. It is rare in our human life and lifestyle for us to make use of such an opportunity as we are doing now, to completely shut down on all our mental, emotional, psychological activities, and to come to a place of such great peace. Not only is it enjoyable, but it is a very powerful, powerful state. You would not think so, but I will explain powerful in what way. I mean, it was powerful in that here your mind and being will automatically be responding to a natural synchronicity or harmony. It is also a very healthy state for body and mind. A peaceful life is priceless peaceful mind is priceless. Here, peace and contentment, they go together also. Effortlessly at rest. No striving 
to be somewhere else or to be in any other state. And notice that your entire being is enjoying this rest. The more that you allow this kind of shutting down from the outer world and the inner world's activities of mind, emotion, thought, feelings, the more you will love it. Your life responding to this becomes very harmonious, very silent. very happy. Notice also that there is no need for waiting. Waiting means you need something. Right now, you are not in a state of need, but of deep harmony. There is no need for next anything, something to come. No, just you are. Now, normally, there is some urge or habit in the mind to go to the next, the next experience, the next place, the next activity. But here, you have come to be at full stop, and happy. Stable, healthily peaceful. Free from stress. Now you see that you are not a container of thoughts, feelings, memories, ideas, projections. Not at all. You are entirely empty of them. And at the same time, you are totally present. You are totally present. But there is a new quality to this present. We are going to call this presentness the state of presence. You are not merely a form. You are empty of not only thoughts, not only words, but of form itself. Yet, how natural, how simple, how pleasant.
notice also that there is no real sense of time. And there is no need. And yet it is totally natural, there is nothing artificial about this. Why? Because you are not doing anything. Now allow this non-doing simply to be. There is time for activities later. All activities which will take place will be much more harmonious, because you have given this gift to yourself. Therefore, all activities, however diverse they may be, or they will be, will have behind them and inside them this inner quality of peace. I am using the word peace, but it is following the state itself. Whatever this is, it really has no name. Peace is our human way of naming this. Tranquility, silence. The more we appreciate, enjoy, and come to love our being, we will begin to feel very well increasingly and more spacious more kind, less fearful, more loving and compassionate. These are the wealth of the true human experience. Notice also that normally our lives we can write about and say what is going on, what we have done, what we intend to do, what we did before, and such things. But right now, look, you are historyless. This inwardness, all awakened beings, they know. It is the natural, uncreated state of being. They give a space for that, and value to this, knowing that, and experiencing, that all activities of body and mind, find a natural, harmonious unfolding and appropriateness, when it arises from this state of inner tranquillity and serenity. You did not create this present state of being. Simply, 
and by choosing to, and giving space for, and leaving the habit of engaging with the thought traffic, we gradually come to experience this natural state. With more practice, given more time, whenever you like, this inner beautiful state of tranquility and peace will continue to shine in you. Thank you. Thank you, Om.